On the plains of Africa, a killer is terrorizing a helpless people. Home to 10% of the world's population, Sub-Saharan Africa has more than 60% of the entire world's HIV-infected people living within her borders. Though the impact of these HIV victims is staggering, the real long-term impact on African society comes from the millions of AIDS orphans left all alone as their parents die from this horrible disease. In 2001, there were 34 million orphan children in Sub-Saharan Africa, one-third of them due to AIDS. Before the AIDS crisis, the world population of orphans had been declining. Now the reverse is true. By 2010, the number of orphans will reach 42 million. And out of that 42 million, it is estimated that 20 million will be orphaned due to the impact of AIDS. To put it another way, almost 6% of all children in Africa will be orphaned because of AIDS by the end of this decade. Father, mother, where are you? Brothers, sisters, where are you? Relatives, where are you? Oh, AIDS, oh, AIDS. Tell me why. Tell me why I was born in this world. No father, no mother. Both died because of AIDS. Oh, AIDS, oh, AIDS. Have mercy on us. My parents, teachers, relatives and doctors, take care of AIDS. It is a disaster, no drug, no cure. Oh, AIDS, oh, AIDS. Have mercy on us. NAC committee, PAC committee, DAC committee, CAC committee and our DAS calls. Shall we continue our learning? Our role models, have mercy on us. Chosen children, have mercy on us. Lord, have Chosen Children International, known as CCI, is a non-denominational Christian organization whose mission is to provide for the spiritual, physical, and educational needs of these precious lost children. We have a plan that we believe will not only impact this generation of children, but will impact the lives of countless generations to come and actually change the course of history. AIDS and HIV infection is at epidemic proportions in Africa. And with so many mothers and fathers dying from the disease, thousands of orphan children end up living with grandparents or other relatives who are too poor to provide the care and education they need. CCI is helping to care for these orphans through our micro-enterprise program. By loaning a small amount of money to the guardians of these orphans, the guardians can establish a small business, enabling them to better support the orphan children. Some of the micro-enterprises Chosen Children International has funded to date include vegetable and fruit stands, bicycle taxis, selling of charcoal, the major fuel in Kenya, and kiosks. One example is Joshua, the oldest of seven orphans, who was given money to start a kiosk where he sells bread, tea, sugar, and other groceries. With the income from this kiosk, he's able to feed, clothe, and educate his six younger siblings. I'm Joshua Kiru. These are um, my kiosk that chosen children's home have built for me. Now I'm selling all the food stuff that Miss Mary Lynn bought for me. I'm running on behalf of the orphan family in which I'm the eldest. And I'd be happy if the Miss Mary Lynn would be close to ensure that I sustain my business. While our micro-enterprise program is helping meet the needs of some orphan children, there is so much more that needs to be done. Chosen Children International has begun work on a much greater vision of hope for these children, a vision that not only impacts a few families at a time, but impacts entire communities. Our plan is to build children's villages throughout Sub-Saharan Africa. Our first village will be for the children of Kenya, East Africa. This will serve as a model for additional villages to be built in other developing nations or wherever there are large numbers of orphans and street children. The children's village will be the beginning of a new way of life for these homeless children. Each village will be built on at least 20 acres of land and will consist of an elementary school, a high school, a vocational training center, a large chapel, which will also serve as a meeting hall, a medical center, and individual family-style homes, which will each house 12 orphan children. Each home will be run by two adults who will serve as house parents to their children. By living in a small home, 
The children will receive the nurturing of a loving family atmosphere, which is in stark contrast to the large, cold, institutional feel of a dormitory that is common in orphanages. In the children's village, we will grow local crops such as corn and beans, raise rabbits, chickens, goats, and other animals. Each home will also have its own plot for growing vegetables. This will serve several purposes. The crops, vegetables, and animals will be used as an outdoor laboratory where the children will learn farming and how to care for the animals. It will also enable the village to be self-sufficient since the families will eat what they produce and will also market some to the community. There is a plan to even have a mill for grinding corn into flour since corn flour is the major food source in much of Africa. Our vocational center will provide training in agriculture, animal husbandry, carpentry, masonry, tailoring, the art of African crafts, auto mechanics, and computer technical skills. We want each child to have a marketable trade by the time he or she is ready to leave the village. We will be giving the children leadership skills so that some of them, by the time they are adults, may in fact become the leaders of a new children's village in another area. Not only will the resident children be helped through this village, but the surrounding community will also be served. The children from the community will attend local high schools and vocational schools. The adults and children will have access to a low-cost medical center, and we will create jobs for many unemployed people from the community. The vision for the children's village is to create a model of self-sufficient and self-respecting people that can be copied over and over again in the minds, hearts, communities, and cities throughout Kenya and the rest of Africa. It is an opportunity to have a long-term effect on entire nations. Our desire is to care for the needy children just as Jesus taught us to, and to teach the children about true life, which is found by believing in the Messiah, the Son of our Heavenly Father and Creator. But we can't do it alone. We want to give you an opportunity to invest in the lives of these desperate children and become a history maker with us. There are several ways you can partner with us. Sponsor one of the village homes. Sponsor one or more of the orphan children. Sponsor one or more of the micro enterprises. Or sponsor one of the village classrooms. From Chosen Children International, thank you in advance for partnering with us to make a difference in the lives of these orphaned children. Young lives will be changed, and the impact you make is an eternal one.